During initialization, our team uses a custom OpenCV algorithm to detect the location of our team shipping element. Our robot scores the preloaded piece of freight, and then goes into the warehouse to pick up another piece of freight. After scoring that piece of freight, it parks itself in the warehouse, making sure to leave enough room for our partner to also park alongside, and it's in the perfect position to score during teleop. We also have a secondary autonomous that starts next to the carousel and uses our innovative carousel arms to score the preloaded duck. Next, our robot moves towards the Alliance shipping hub and uses an ultrasonic sensor to line up, so that if the shipping hub has been moved by our partner, our robot can still score. It scores the preloaded block and parks completely inside of the Alliance specific storage unit. Both autonomous programs score 42 points, but our primary gets us an additional 8 to 12 points for 6. We utilize 20 sensors to power our 9 driver enhancements, which are designed to prevent fail conditions, improve robot usability, and automate complex and precise tasks. One of our most important automations is the intake. Using 3 beam brake sensors, 1 digital distance sensor, and 2 current sensors, we are able to fully automate our intake. Our drivers can turn on the intake with just the press of a button. A robot automatically lowers the intake ramp and turns on the intake motors. It ejects extra freight automatically and automatically turns off the intake and lifts the ramp once the robot has a piece of freight in the bucket. Because our robot uses the full 18 by 18 inch space, there's very little room for error when scoring on the shared shipping hub. So if our drivers want to score in the shared shipping hub, they can use our automated scoring system, which we like to call the bump and dump. This automated enhancement uses the y-axis of our IMU, and with the press of a single button, it gets our drivetrain and lift into the scoring position. The drivetrain automatically moves backwards, slows down once it starts traversing the barrier, and stops once it's in the scoring position. The lift extends out automatically and retracts once the driver deposits a piece of freight. All the drivers have to do is drive in front of the shared shipping hub, press a single button, and our robot does the rest. If the driver wants to score on the Alliance specific hub, they can use our lift enhancements. We have one button to fully extend the lift and buttons to go up or down one level of the hub.